Welcome back to part three of my Ramesses Let's Play, Total War Pharaoh. So, ping things up, we left them last time. Turn 12, just had another Shemzu Hall, which has unlocked the final series of campaign features and mechanics. Now got access to the court, then had access to raw traditions. We chose the Egyptian raw tradition, which unlocks the power of the crown, where we can seek to build up our legitimacy and then contest the crown and eventually become Pharaoh ourselves and then go on further to unite all of Egypt. Obviously, we've only got 17 legitimacy right now. We need another 35 before we can contest the crown. I imagine uh, political state is currently at peace, but I imagine it will go into a civil war at some point in the future. Uh, regalia, join a civil war or claim the throne to equip crown. So does that mean we can claim... We can actually claim some crowns even if we don't succeed in becoming pharaoh? Is that how that works? There's certain objectives to claim those specific crowns? Uh, available to the pharaoh who controls either Wasa or Menefer. Available, oh, to a pretender. Oh, cool. Yes, you can do it. Oh, so even if you don't succeed in becoming pharaoh, if you claim Menefer, you get um, the uh, Deshret. That's pretty cool. Pretender or pharaoh who controls city of Waset. Unlocked by pretender or pharaoh. Uh, oh, and you unlock that just by becoming a pretender or a pharaoh. Oh, cool. Wow. And unlocked by becoming a pretender. Oh, you get that one as well. Nice. Well, that's cool. And that's only, yeah, only the pharaoh gets that one. The uh, percent. And then when you do become pharaoh, you get the royal powers, which scale up across various tiers. That should be interesting. You just need more and more legitimacy to get those. Uh, we've also unlocked the ancient legacies, which we can now choose. We're going to go for Tutmos the Conqueror. Uh, he's the one that the game recommends you choose if you're playing as Ramesses. I think it's just because Ramesses is all about kind of expansion and conquest and battles. And Tutmos gives you a good uh, kind of advantage there. But obviously, there are also the uh, other legacies you can choose. There's four of them in total. And the game doesn't stop you choosing the other ones. So if you want to go off in a different direction, you can. There's uh, Hatshepsut the Merchant. Uh, Aken Heten, the heretic. Khufu the builder. But we're going to go for Tutmos the Conqueror, who essentially allows us to uh, choose specifically how we want to conquer certain cities or, or, or leverage uh, our forces going about the conquest and, and siege of a city, either through sabotage or through uh, supporting kind of the natives, the local populace, and using them to our advantage. So that's the legacy we're going to select. It is permanent, so in we go. Can't choose another one later. So yeah, we can choose the sabotage, which means that depending on the actions we choose, and they all cost gold as you go through, six actions before the conquest culmination, um, if you choose to sabotage, um, you're, you'll actually force the enemy to sally out uh, against you. So they won't be able... Essentially, you've whittled away at their supplies so much that they're forced to sally out. Uh, so you won't actually have to then fight them on the on the city map. So if it's a really solid, nearly impenetrable settlement you're attacking, you can kind of use sabotage to draw them out. Also, by depending on the number of sabotage actions you choose as you go through, um, you'll get more rewards after battle in terms of resources, stone and bronze, and replenishment rate. Whereas if you choose native support, um, it will culminate, uh, culminate with the locals fighting beside you. So they'll join you in the battle against the city's defenders and you'll be able to see the number of reinforcements you've got on the right-hand side. And going through each of those tiers, depending again on how much native support you give through your conquest action choices, uh, will yield a higher happiness once you obtain the settlement. Uh, I'm probably going to go sabotage because who doesn't want extra resources and more replenishment rate? Um, but it depends what we can afford because it, it costs 100 gold to start and then I think it's like 100 to 200 gold per action depending on which you choose. So I'm quite glad that we went for Hathor now and we've got that gold production going on. Uh, we do need to select a target for this. Uh, I think these are all meant to be kind of ancient battle sites or, or, or key sites that took most conquered during his reign, I assume. I don't know if we can make it, if you guys are still enjoying this campaign, you know, much further down the road maybe we can make it a bonus objective to complete all the conquests that are available here it's not every single settlement that we can go for the nearest one we can go for is Ascalon so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that one in I think um choose city and then we can hit initiate conquest Can only have one active at a time. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't make us at war with them, which is good. 
Um, and then, yeah, we can choose the first action. So we can choose to attack the water supply. A uh, cost of 150 gold. Uh, following effects will be applied to the city. Siege hold up time minus 3 and fatigue build up minus 20%. Or we can do gift to a local warlord. Units provide as reinforcements to the battle. Or we can follow enemy patrols and it reveals the region. So that one is native aligned. You've got blue and red to denote those. We will also get some additional units in battle. Speed for reinforcing army. Scouts remain uh, sheathed in the shadow, keenly eyeing every movement the enemy makes. I mean, that'd be kind of nice, although surely I can already see. I can only see Ascalon itself, but that would reveal the whole region. That might be kind of nice. I know I want to go through for sabotage. That that feels like it could be useful. Let's go for that because I haven't tried it before. That's going to give us some nice support, so we're probably going to want to choose some of the other bits. So you can only do one action per turn, and obviously they do cost gold, so we're going to need to build that up if we want to do it. But yeah, we're not at war with them yet. We're going to kind of tre try and preempt that. Destiny calls me, and I am compelled to answer. I've right, got another point to spend. We'll start going through Fortitude. And next rank 8, we can finally get in another title, which is good. So we'll go in there. We're not going to activate that because I want um, to be able to train Medjite. And we need to have not Blessed used it by, by the, the next Shemzu Hall to have them available. Because I think if we can get his army to a full Medjite force, that'd be great. My name will Economy wise, be doing all right apart from the food. So. Um, let's upgrade that so we can upgrade everything else. Uh, we want to go through, once we're done with that one, I'll probably go through Heart of Egypt and then on to, uh, Preparation Against Reprise. We'll get another God slot, which means we should that um, we should then be able to build shrines and temples to Patar, which boosts our food production, which would be good there. But yeah, I think the general kind of strategy I'm, I'm going to go for right now is we're going to move up, take Ascalon with the most the Conqueror. Uh, obviously, we're going through Beersheba first. Then we will turn south, go down to Hetch. I mean, we might be able to build up another army to go and do this at some point. Uh, while one force is going down through Hetch to grab a stone because we need a way of producing stones. We're currently, we're currently only getting it through a diplomacy at the moment, through our barter. Was it with Seti, I think? So yeah, then move on up through Hetch. And then we'll look to push west and focus. I think then the majority of our kind of campaign focus will leave sort of the, the north, northeastern side of things and just focus on the west because we need to take... Um, sacred egyptian land to gain us more legitimacy that's probably one of the easiest ways of gaining more legitimacy through conquest uh and conquering those sacred egyptian lands and then obviously we can build monuments and stuff like that as well uh but if we conquer all of these sacred egyptian lands control all of the nile delta uh then hopefully that will build us up enough that we can go through the power of the crown and contest it or you know launch our case as a serious pretender so that'd be pretty good Two pending actions. Okay, court actions available and Ramesses hasn't moved yet. Uh, have I got more troops being recruited for you? Destined for greatness. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna still throw Answer in more just so I can give more troops to my other army. I'm I'm wary of moving forward though while we're not at full strength. You've got another turn to get Warrior those guys in. Egypt. Um but we do have our ambition. We need to win a battle. Um, right, yeah, court, 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 court. Uh, the, the game recommends with Ramesses, so you go for first game. commander first. All right, thanks, mate. So, yeah, we're going to go for the position of first commander first if we can. So, we'll need to plot against him to um, threaten him, I think. Ramesses will become the new one. Yeah, because we can steal, we can steal legitimacy, actually. We can use that to steal legitimacy. So that's ways we can gain it as well. But yeah, we're probably going to threaten him, but we will need... Um, need to improve that by which we can form intrigue, conspire, reveal a plot of yours to a faction to increase the plot success chance. Raise regard, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to plot to conspire. Yeah, I think we have to do it to other, other people. So we can't make a plot yet. Because you can't start them on Shemsey Horse. We'll start it next turn. So instead, we're going to go to the Viceroy of Kush and build up um, relations with him because we want to then reap profits from the mines and get 200 gold to our treasury. We need to exchange 60 regard though for that. So perform intrigue. Let's gossip because that will give us 20 regard. We've got two of those actions per turn. So next turn we'll do it once more. Then we can make a request. Actually, yeah, gain the gold. Then the following turn we'll go for our plot, which will be rather nice. So let's end the turn.
peace is a delicate balance. But when brothers turn against each other, virtues are abandoned. Bloodshed is inevitable. Oh, hello. That's where the army's gone. Oh, and they're going to ambush. Dun dun dun. So, what was that about? Life of a soldier. Hittite civil war begin. That's what it was. Oh, good. So I don't think in the last uh, early access build of my mini series I did, we got these prompts. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pretenders emerge fighting to become the true legitimate rulers. That's early. Wow. Uh, no, not caught. I want to go power of the crown. Yeah, we don't have one. We're at peace. It's all good. A mess. You're getting pretty strong, though. So what do you need? 35. Quite a bit. So you guys probably could do it. I guess, I guess you can wait, though, until you've got so much legit... Because whoever's got the most legitimacy at the end of the period, right? Only end when an undisputed pharaoh emerges. Well, how do you... Do you just have to gain more legitimacy within that time to be top dog? We shall find out. Um, yeah, raw decrees. We just finished that one. So we're going to go for this one for more influence. Plus one. We're getting close to some of these modifiers. Which is good. How are we looking with influence over at Hathor? Because... Oh, good. We're not, we're not facing the gold penalty anymore of minus 25. To keep increasing that. Um, what are we doing here? Do, 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 do. We can get workforce replenishment. No, I want that one, but I need more uh, marble. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to search that, wasn't I? I think. Happiness and influence. That'd be nice. So I need more stone. Woo, 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 woo. Are we. What the. Uh, units, generals. Err. Food. Oh my. Um, right, well, gods. you're probably going to get attacked, aren't you? So I know that army's in ambush. Reduced upkeep. And this one. Yeah, we've only got the two outposts here, haven't we? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is reduced up upkeep. Ramesses. There we go. Uh, and then. Nuts. Even if I go into force march. Hard march ahead. But still be taking attrition. The thing is, they're over here. They could come come for me in that time. Egypt's finest. Ever ready. If I stay near the roads, and yeah, you don't take attrition. Ah. <sighs> Although, I mean, my movement there, he shouldn't be able to reach me if I normal stance it. I'm going to go here to and in camp. Make camp. For Egypt. You guys, you really can't afford any more of these, but we can throw in some militia, I guess. Every soldier Just get counts. in some more. we we'll wait for that army. We know we saw it go in there. Oh, we can do another action. Yeah, of course. Uh, find a route in the night. Reveals enemy garrison. Hire an infamous warlord. Oh, what's this one? Stage of prophecy. What's this color do? <laughs> Morale, happiness. I mean, I'd rather go through that fire in the night. We've got the money, so do it. I'll start building up here. Need more sabotage points to unlock that. Okay. We've already gained some uh, raiders, though. Nice. So they'll appear no matter what. Right, let's see what happens. Oh. Peace. 
this is a delicate balance. But when brothers turn against each other, virtues are abandoned. And bloodshed is inevitable. the feeling there might have just been a civil war kickoff in the Egyptian court. Here they are. There's 15 of them. Right, so keep taking attrition. You can't ambush this time. You've gone into forced march stance. You're trying to get back into settlement. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, Ramesses, the not bold. producing stone. Yeah. Join the civil war. Throne's almost in your grasp, but before uh, you reach for it, make sure you're prepared. Civil war ups. Yeah. Ah, uh, that. <laughs> Political state. 14 turns. So remaining time in the civil war, at the end of which a faction will emerge victorious. The timer increases for each new pretender joining the war. Or if it ends on a tie, it's also reduced drastically if just a single faction is left. Oh, wow. They've gone for it. So, I, I mean, I can join it. But, I, I mean, I guess we could hold off to the end and then join it. But then we'd have to then gain a load of legitimacy. Um, if we do it, though, do we just unlock this? If I do it, do I instantly get jumped on and declared? I'm going to hold off doing it. But you guys wait in the comment section. Let me know. This is the... the, the the last episode that I'm pre-recording um, recording back to back so I'll be able to kind of look through all your comments, advice and what have you uh, before I record part 4 uh, which will probably be out on eh, it might be out on Monday I uh, said I'm planning this series to be released every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday but I'm probably going to give you guys some bonus uploads the first week or so uh, so we have a good solid start um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts for next episode I'm not going to join it right now but maybe we should try it out once we've got Ascalon, at least these guys sorted. Um, is power. Yeah, now I can reduce upkeep costs by going there. Um, interacting with it, what will that do? Oh no, yes, that one. I want to go. I was like, why can't I interact with it? Because it's damaged. And I keep meaning to get that stone, don't I? Keep meaning to get the stone for here. So I can start going through this line. So we'll set up a new stone trade. Chosen of Ra. Ready to march. I am gonna force march through here. To my destiny. It's gonna hurt. I fight for Egypt. Uh, I'm gonna uh, so we're gonna take attrition if I go there. I'm gonna pop you into the fort. That's what knees. I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, it's just popping the units in, isn't it? Yeah, not the general. But that's reduced Eager our costs fight. a lot. I'll keep you there. They won't expect us. To grab them next time and bring them over to Ramesses. Weapons honed. I mean, you could recruit some more units, actually, for me. Um, Yeah, our bronze is still fine. Okay, we've got that upkeep reduction. I probably should have looked at things before then. Um... Let's let's just we get you a few of the militia. Friends. And then yeah, our food is dwindling rapidly. So I need someone that doesn't care about stone. I you don't my brothers. care about stone. Cool. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go after you, but not yet. So do you want to do a barter agreement of giving me 300 stone? Nope, no, you can only give me that much. How much you can do per turn? Guess so. Um, five turns. Let's start off with five turns. And um, what, what can I offer you, mate? You like gold. How about a little bit of gold?
35 gold per turn for that stone coming in. Deal. But I also need stone right now unless I want to wait a turn. So I'm going to go see who else doesn't care about stone. All will remember me. That's nice. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to ask for a single barter. And how much stone have I got? Okay, I need like another 100, right? Uh, let's just mm, make it 120. And you like wood, right? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 wood is the magic number. Beautiful. Welcome to Total War Haggle. Fate favors me. Do, 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 do. Where is it? That one. In you go. Lovely. Blessed by the gods. Right. Um. Yeah, penny actions. What else we got? Inspired bot. Yeah, it was with Seti, wasn't it? That's what we had before. I was giving him a bit of wood. And he was giving me more stone. Um. Let's let's make it work. You also want a one-off payment of some gold. Seti. Yeah, of course. Give me give me all that stone. Um, I'm just thinking it probably would be a good idea to find someone who doesn't care about food as much. Bay, you, speak you're powerful and you've got lots of it. Sin. Right, Bay. Let's talk about a barter agreement. I would love an additional thousand food per turn for a little while. What can I offer you, mate? You like wood, so I've heard. I've only got 85 coming in. That's all my profit. Um, all my profit of wood. I mean, I'm not using. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll offer you fifty, and then how about how about a little bit of bronze? Fifty bronze as well. Okay, not enough, not enough, but it's a start. Let's do that, and then can I offer you a single barter, my boy? Oh wow, really? Even that's not even enough. Wow, yikes! Uh, what about what about a big chunk of bronze? No, okay. I'm just asking for too much, clearly. Okay, let's go for seven hundred, six hundred food, and then I'll give you a bit more bronze, and then make it work with a bit of gold. Lovely, nice. That should just give us a little bit of breathing room with what we're doing right now. That's going to give us some more food, so that will hopefully help out. Just got to get there and conquer it. Actually, part of me, as much as I want to get those resources from the settlement, part of me is thinking it would be nice to have a big old siege, but the resources would be good right now. game would crash then. Just, uh, obviously having a big old think about stuff. You guys really having a big old think. It's like the first few turns of Civil War. Everyone's got opening moves to make. That's a that's a lot of gold you're demanding. Um, and that's a lot of food you're offering, which would be nice. Um, the one-off, I don't want to give you that much gold because I need it for my conquest, mate. 
I will counter you though. Why's the, why's the token bit of wood in there? I'll give you... How much does 100 gold get me? I'm sensing potentially a decent amount. I want it for a thousand. Here you go. I'll do a hundred gold for a thousand food. Okay, like you can have your token bits of wood back. There you go. Eight wood. I'll do that. I'll do that with you. That's why I'm glad I got the gold. A new pretender rises. So, how, oh, it's going for 19 turns now. There's a few in there. They're all good. I mean, you're, you're keen. With 29 legitimacy, gonna go on a big old uh, conquering spree. Place your bets. Amanes uh, or Waset. Who do you think is gonna become fairer? Or do you think uh, Minifer will. Uh... Oh, Minifer. Uh... Do you think he'll stay as Pharaoh? Whatever his name is. Right, go to court. The divine court. Do, 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 do. Um. At my behest. This is the list of court plots this position has initiated. Uh, right, so he's he's done one on somebody else, is he? Right, well, I want to um, gossip. You are looking to make friends in the right places. Yep, and then I would like to make a request for some gold, please. And I'm cool. inclined to grant such cordial requests. And uh, now I can plot. Yeah, oh, I, I use my two core actions already. Yeah. So next turn, plot, and then we're going to start um, conspiring to increase our success and grab first commander position. Right. Don't know where that dude's gone. Destined for greatness. What I'm going to do though is—is is that the one that gives me uh, additional movement range? Yes. So I'm going to go there. I'm gonna take these guys out. For Pharaoh's glory. Bring you over to Ramses. With me, men. Okay, I am gonna start taking out these guys. Could give you the raiders because you lost one of them, and have yeah another one of them. Okay, boom. For Egypt's glory. The future of Egypt. Bound for glory. You try and find that army. Warrior of Egypt. It's not too bad actually. With all those forces out, we're looking okay. So, can I, I Egypt. send Tim here? To victory. See where their army is. Can't see it right now. So that settlement looks open. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go attack it next turn. Got the gold. Right, next one. Uh, assassinate Garrison Captain. Go oh, 500 gold. Reveals region. That's what we did with that one, wasn't it? Is that only for that turn? It reveals it, I guess so. Didn't even make use of that. I didn't even check it out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's that one. I guess that one does it so it doesn't affect either side. It's a good amount of stone and then bronze as well. So I'm going to go big. Go for the sabotage. Watch, I want to see a big old city battle. I want some tasty resources as well. In the turn. They're going to be in full civil war mode. Taking as long this time though. Guessing there's a lot going on though when civil wars kick off, especially I guess all those Egyptian factions around the around the Nile. They're all gonna be in and around each other. Pretty much on top of one another. 
trying to grab land more legitimacy Kara's having a good old think about something not sure what though Casket invaders. Guessing sea peoples. Civilization prospers. Abundance in Upper Egypt. That's nice. Sweet. We've now got the Raw Decree in effect. Okay. Let's research our next Raw Decree. I want to go for preparation against reprisal. Get another god slot. We've got to go through affinity with the forest first. There we go. Right. Destiny Still no calls, idea where that other army is. I'm going to use Tim. To yeah, let's attack that. Oh no, it's in there. That's where it is. Continue the siege. I wonder, could I set up a sneaky ambush on these guys? We're not at full strength. Still pretty close, but yeah, I don't want to attack that force there. Twenty stack army, twelve. So we've got to try and break them and lure them out. Let's go here. Oh, and I can't ambush because in view of another army's faction. Forging onwards. Bound for glory. To battle. Chosen of Ra. March on, men. Okay. Go ambush here. Retreat from that now. and go, will be legend. go here March on, men. and see if I can lure you in. I am unstoppable. Hit the smaller force. That's what we're going to try and do. We've got that in there. Let's get that going up. We've got to upgrade this, which we've got the stone for. So get that in there. Could go for that one for replenishment and workforce growth. Yeah, where we can get unlock Medjai units. Recruitment ranks. Is there any way of getting more recruitment slots? Recruit slots, yeah, plus one this province. Do you ever have like it takes a while to recruit units? That okay, that's pretty that's fairly tough. Um oh yeah, the wineries are a unique one as well. Happiness, workforce growth, production, all resort. That's great. Okay, you get the winery right in there for our gold and everything else. Yes, please. Your sabotage will pay off. Hover over here to see what bonuses you'll receive after you conquer the city. Oh, so we've already got that one then. So we should get those rewards regardless, I think. If that is higher, the rewards will be tamed once the city is captured. Okay, so you'll get them anyway. That's cool. So, yeah, we could just build up the rewards and then just build up native support a bit more. And attack the water supply. Train natives, reinforcing arm plus 20%. That's pretty big. Punishment disabled. Own armies. Incite an uprising. That's pretty big. We have to attack the water supply though, so we're now on 500. I'd love to get up to tier 4, I think, if I could. Right. Court actions, nice. Be welcome in the court right. of Menepta, so. Beloved of the gods. Menepta, that's it. Plot against, threaten. And then, Port of Intrigue, so conspire. Uh, I think I need to. Is it here? Conspire. Oh no! I've got to have twenty. I've got to have the regard there to do it. Undermine. I need to leave thirty with the target of the plot. Right. Yeah, that's what I need to do. 
So I need to gossip to you now. I knew I would see eye to eye with a fellow. Egyptian. And now I found out you're trying to discredit the Pharaoh. Yes, I need to make more actions next turn. It's fine. Getting my Crusader Kings 3 intrigue on. Okay, their offers. You want peace? <laughs> no. Come on, take my bait. Take my bait. Take my bait. Yes! You have shown oh, it failed. Tactical foresight. Reinforcements stand by to aid you in the coming battle. Okay, well, the ambush failed, but I do have my reinforcements. Timotep is on his way. So, yeah, let's round off this episode with a battle. In we go. Also, this end turn seems to load a lot quicker. Uh, I actually did a, a quick save and a reload after the last uh, end turn. So that seems to have fixed it, but I will uh, pass this info over to CA, so hopefully it's something they can look into. Find out why those end turns were taking a bit longer. But yeah, if you encounter them in your own build, I would say try reloading a save because that should seem to uh, make things go a bit faster. Hopefully it's a straightforward fix and solution. My reinforcements coming. I definitely want to wait for my reinforcements. Um, I'd love to try and pull them in here. Uh, we've got mud. We could slow them down. If they were coming on in, I've sort of intercepted them, haven't I? They've chosen to fight, so... Don't quite know whose side level that puts us... You know, whose attacker, whose defender as such, but we'll guess we'll wait and see. actually like to do is pull them back we'll bring into through the mud a little bit Their drive is weak and feeble. Go. Reinforcements arrive to support your army. Together, you can vanquish the foe. That's a huge army. Right. I heard the Canaanites fight like rabid dogs. Clubs. Pop you guys in here. Tim behind these guys. On the move. Repositioning. Where is he? Bury them in there he is. Nice shield, buddy. Got a lot of archers. So we're going to be in the wood as well. It's only heavier units, though. I'm not going to have many heavy units, so it's probably going to make a huge amount of difference. They only no challenge. Axe warriors. Always strong. Warriors of Canaan. Make them pay. Meet your death. Start going for them now. Try and lock them out of formation a little bit. Once again, though. Left myself exposed on that flank. I will it. On the mark. Oh. The desert is a familiar friend. Show strength. Artist fire. Our aim is through! Launch javelins! Slay 
Raider! You are destined to die! Ignore their archers for now, guys. Just turn it round over here. Let's try and have a scroll along the battle line. Let's give you guys more orders. Hold in on the rest of the line. No more. Nice. Now make quick work of the rest. That's the plan. Oh, they're all breaking. Massive, massive morale break. Getting Warhammer 1 uh, knocking out the uh, enemy vampire lord vibes. That's pretty huge. We could rally Move back, on. though. Fear nothing. Die. You will suffer. Plants. For glory eternal. Devastate them. Shoot them down. Sons of Egypt. How can this be happening? And there's victory. Do you want to throw your javelins? Get them on! Chase them down. Get as many of them as you can. Because otherwise they're just going to run back to that settlement. Which is then going to be still pretty tough for us to take. But I think we've got to keep the momentum going. Keep pushing on. He's like, I'm running. You're going to get caught, though. This is impossible. Oh, that's also a running group. I thought that was the whole guy chasing him. They're getting them pretty good. Oh, that's useful. At a glance, you've got the number of warriors over there. Cool. Nice. Turn around and get these guys. Boom. Uh, last one's dribbling off the field. Nice. <laughs> Different religious Missy plus two. Nice. Oh, we just get some boat through regular battle anyway. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I'm gonna. I'd like the food, but I'm gonna take 3% replenishment. Take whatever we can get right now. 
I reap divine blessings. Oh, and you've run past it. Cool. You don't retreat into it. Oh, no, it's your turn. You're gonna, of course, you're going to jump back into it. A struggle for the throne has begun. Nope. Join Ambition fulfilled. Of course, yeah. Bring reckoning to your foes. Nice. Proving yourself the most worthy. Concrete sacred lands, winning monuments, or winning. Oh, just winning battles does it as well. That's cool. Well, good thing I'm winning battles. We gained the uh, Aspis shield. Defend. Ooh, nice. Sweet. Right, well, let's have a look at this now. They're pretty weak. But apparently I've got no chance. I mean, if they sally out against me, how long could they hold out for? Start taking attrition. They're just going to just gonna sit there. They have nowhere to run. By bringing this army, how does that change things up? Witness, Not gods. good either. Wow, really? The garrison, the raiders look decent. 54 damage. I mean, if they do stand and fight in the streets, I feel like that's actually to my advantage because I can then pick... Their numbers don't mean as much as I can pick them off bit by bit, row by row. But do we want to risk it all here? But if we pull back, they're just going to replenish because we weren't able to take out enough of them in that last battle. They must surrender. What shall we do? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. We'll pick things up from here at the start of the next episode. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and all that goodness. Take care and ciao for now.